I know you're tendering for new work now you've got this yeah. machine because it's a pretty hungry beast sure. and it will, will get through a lot yeah. but the type of work that you're doing on here now is it coming off your existing machines and just now made far quicker yes um, so that's freeing up capacity on our other machines to utilize this to get product off quickly utilizing lights out machining and what, what about the work that comes off it from from your perspective Machining to tolerance, machining yeah. as fast as you would hope? Yeah, yeah. well we've taken a job off uh, one of the machines up the other end of the shop and we've taken it down from the seven ops to one. These guys have taken it on board, I mean when we first got it, it was it was totally new to everybody. Yeah. Um, they've utilised the tombstones, getting the parts on there, reprogramming everything like we've never done before. Um, it's been a real learning curve, but these guys have been yeah. amazing getting it going. Uh, and, and, and a commercial slant for you, how good is this for SRD now in being able to, to pitch to new customers, uh, yeah. maybe have more of an order or structure to your manufacturing? Sure, I mean regularly we get monthly orders, but now we're looking to get forecasted orders so we can use this to our best of our abilities, uh, running lights out weekends. Big question, efficiency. We all know that VMCs, as good as they are, they stop, you know, you have to get in, load, unload the parts, clear, swarf, whatever it might be, they can be 40, 50% efficient. How efficient is this machine? How often is the spindle turning? Okay, we're still calculating, obviously we're still learning by it, but at the moment we're looking over 90%. Over 90% of the time this machine's running. So what about the loading of the machine? Do you get involved in that and the fixturing too? Yeah, yeah, uh, the fixturing is mainly my idea is I give tell the other guy what to do, basically he comes up with the goods. I want to ask you about this drill as well, because you mentioned to me off yeah. camera about the, the precision of the machine yeah. and how, yeah. Yeah. explain. Yeah, well basically, because it's a new thing, we're using like mid-range price holders, so they're not the best, they're not the worst, but we're putting up like a one mil drill and it's cutting micron perfect every single time, and, you know, I mean, is that and you're measuring a what, H7? It's a H7 limit, so we work it to 1 mil to 1.01 mil, and it's coming out exactly right every single time, and that's just with a 1 mil drill. We're not reaming or nothing. And the materials you're cutting here, they vary from alleys to stainless steel? Yeah, well, we're working with everything from aluminium to steel, stainless steels, in canal the lot. You know, if you can hold it, we'll machine it. <laughs> good, good pitch for the company. Mark, a couple of words on the Matsura installation. You've dealt with a lot of machine tool suppliers yeah. over the years. How, how, how do these compare? Oh, brilliant. Couldn't fault it. Yeah, um, here on time, there's no issues at all. Uh, the, the prep work as well before, very impressed with that. Sounds like you both wanted to say something. Yeah. You want to you yeah. add yeah. to it? Yeah. Obviously, I've been here when they, they installed it. Can't fault it. I'm absolutely yeah. fantastic. It's just a dream to watch them actually work. They're so good at what they did. Well, I, I think we'll finish that one there. So here we are, SRD Engineering in Bista. Used to use all the vertical machining centres and now uh, horizontal here uh, to, not to replace, but to add to. Do you think all your verticals in this shop, in time, they'll be maybe going down this track of the horizontal? I can see us adding more. Um, again, we're running out of space as usual in this building, but we will be, I think, replacing a lot of the, the old machines with going down this route.